Hey everyone, what's up? This is Paul here broadcasting from Tokyo, Japan. Um, this upcoming video is a bit long, so stick around. And at the end, I'm going to announce some details for a giveaway. I think it'll be pretty cool, especially for those who shoot Super 8. So I was sitting here at my desk um, prepping for a project, another project that I'm working on with Super 8. Uh, and with these, both of them are from Brown. Um, and I just could not help but remember the time that I met Dieter Rams at his house. And I wish I had been into vlogging back then in order to record um, this experience. Um, I wasn't, so I want to share this story with you today. He is a living legend. Basically, he was the uh, the head of the design department for Brown. I think immediately you could see uh, what he and his team, uh, their style of very clean, simple um, interfaces. Perhaps you don't know that he or Brown was really the influence. He influenced, they influenced. Apple. He's um, well known for his 10 principles for good design. Gutes Design sollte innovativ sein. Gutes Design macht ein Produkt brauchbar. Design ist ästhetisches Design. Gutes Design macht ein Produkt verständlich. Gutes Design ist ehrlich. Gutes Design ist unaufdringlich. Gutes Design ist langlebig. Gutes Design ist konsequent bis ins letzte Detail. Gutes Design ist umweltfreundlich. Last but not least, gutes Design ist so wenig Design wie möglich. When I, when I look at products that came from Brown at that time when he was there, I find that so true. Um, this Super 8 camera, which looks very complicated to use, actually it's quite easy. Um, all you do is just put everything to red, 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 and turn it on for red. You're ready to go. So, um, this was back in September of 2018, and, um, I had planned a trip to go to Germany to visit some friends as well as some other business matters. And I thought that it would be kind of cool to, um, you know, I want to do a lot of things, not sightseeing stuff. And so several weeks before departure, um, I asked my friend Martin, could you connect me with, with uh, Dieter Rams? Because when Martin was in Japan, he was in Japan for, um, I think, half a semester studying. Um, anyway, he, he told me then that, hey, it'd be kind of cool to, like, just go to his house, you know, and <laughs> bring a cake. <laughs> um, which I thought it was kind of funny back then. But that was back, you know, I thought it was joking, but he kind of meant it. So several, you know, fast forward a few months later. I I remembered that, and I said, hey, Martin, you know, I'm going to Germany, I'd hook up with you and other stuff. You think you could, um, you set up a meeting with this guy? Of course, I'm texting with him. Um, the next day, he replies with his address. He's like, here's where he lives. I'm like, holy cow, you know, uh, amazing. And I even checked it on Google Maps. I'm like, yeah, that looks like the location where he lives because 
I had seen interviews on YouTube of Dieterams um, at his home and it looked like that yeah so um, I was also in touch with a uh, good friend Thomas um, and um, I'm like hey man Thomas check this out we're gonna meet we're gonna hook up with um, <laughs> Dieterams and he's all excited too and the plan was um, I'm gonna fly from Tokyo to Frankfurt and Thomas would pick me up at the airport and then we would drive to Dieterham's home he lives near Frankfurt and so um, that's what we did I got to the airport um, I think it was maybe like 6 a.m. 6 30 a.m. I forget Thomas comes maybe 7 15 7 30 and uh, we have breakfast and have a coffee and we even went to a recycle shop beforehand and we thought okay let's let's go let's head to his house like at 10 a.m. that's a good time to like um, you know visit someone without an appointment okay so here's the address he punches it into um, Google Maps his Google Maps on his iPhone and um, we're heading along you know we're, we're it's in a really like looks like a exclusive neighborhood nice homes and etc and we find the house here's the address there it is and so we parked the car close by and I have my little gift which I brought from Japan specifically for the drums and I didn't it would have been nice to have taken his portrait but to be honest I didn't I didn't want to go that far I thought it was too intrusive yeah my only plan my only kind of objective was just to meet the guy tell him that I'm a big fan shake his hand finished that was really my main my main objective we're walking to the house with the address that Martin had provided us provided me we approach the house and we see the name it's different from it doesn't say Rams or Dita Rams etc like that's strange um, maybe it's his wife's maiden name or maybe I don't know maybe it's a relative we got back into the car and we drove around a little bit like around the block and thought what it's weird huh so <clears throat> finally we parked again at the same spot and decided well why not just ring the doorbell of that house even though it doesn't say Rams or Dieter Rams you know I've got nothing to lose we came all the way here so that's what we did parked the car got back, got out went to that house rang a doorbell and some woman answers it and Thomas says you know good morning um, is this where Dita Rams lives and then she says hang on I'm coming out so she comes out <clears throat> and Thomas repeats himself says you know sorry to bother you but we noticed that um, the name doesn't match with the address is this where Dita Rams lives and she's oh okay yep and she's like she says follow me or follow yeah follow me so we start to follow her she starts walking a few houses down and she points and she says that's where he lives right there and um, we said thank you <laughs> and so yeah there it is it says Dieterams and so my heart is racing yeah I think both Thomas and I were both like freaking out like oh my god so we approach the house we're like oh my god what, what do we do what do we do now remember we have no appointment okay we're just like basically it's like a cold call so I said man just go for it man <laughs> we got nothing to lose so Thomas rings a doorbell 
Again, a woman answers it. And Thomas says, good morning. Um, is this where Dieterams lives? And she says, um, oh, he's not here right now. And then Thomas says, um, well, my friend flew in from Tokyo and would like to meet him. And the woman says something, which I couldn't understand, of course. So she says, wait. <clears throat> and I asked Thomas, like, what, what, what happened? What happened? What happened? And Thomas says, she said that he's in his workshop and, or his office. So hang on. So we're waiting there, maybe 30, 45 seconds, maybe close to a minute. All of a sudden, walks he walks out, Dieterams walks out. And I just thought, oh my God. Um, and he was wearing a black shirt, um, black t-shirt, and some jeans. And... Um, I walk up to him, we walk up to him, and I said in English, I said, I'm very sorry to disturb you at this time, especially without an appointment, but I just flew in from Tokyo. Um, I'm a huge fan of yours, and I just wanted to shake your hand. <laughs> and also, I have a little present for you. And he says, oh, wow, thank you. And he starts with some little chit-chat, you know, oh, you flew in from Tokyo, wow, okay, cool. He says, uh, where are you staying? I said, well, from here, we're going to Dusseldorf, etc. And then he says, let me show you something. So he kind of motions to follow him. And Thomas and I look at each other, and I'm like, Oh my God. And I'm thinking, are we going into his house um, to like have coffee or something? That would have been like so awesome, right? So I think I take out my iPhone. <clears throat> I pass it to, to Thomas to like <laughs> take pictures or something. <laughs> and so he leads us to the back. to the side of the house and to his backyard. And immediately I recognize his garden, his backyard. Because I've seen it numerous times on, on video. And I thought, oh my God, here, here it is. Here is Dieter Rams' um, backyard. And he starts explaining about his garden and the swimming pool and um, how he doesn't really clean it much now because he, or how he doesn't use it so much because he has back problems, so he can't clean it. And he says, this is my Japanese influence. I thought, wow, that's so cool. And then he says, maybe we can take the picture here. And we're like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're freaking out, yeah. And I, I'm like, Thomas, yeah, shoot it right here, etc. I see, yeah. Uh, Japanese influence. Yeah. So maybe you should take the photo here. Yeah, yes. Yeah. From and, um, you know, it just, it just happened so fast, yeah, I and mean, wasn't really thinking. And, wow, I got a photo with, with, with Dieter Rams. And I think I just cut the, the, the chit chat short. I just wanted to end the conversation. I just wanted to get out of there because I just felt like I was disturbing him. I didn't want to like intrude any further. I think maybe Thomas had that, that same feeling as well. So I said, well, thank you for showing your garden. You know, really appreciate it. And um, I hope you enjoy the, the, the treats from Japan. Japanese crackers. Um, so 
he walked us back out and we're at his gate again and I asked him a few questions about his days at Brown we exchanged pleasantries like yeah he said enjoy your stay in Germany and I said thank you very much for this for this um, opportunity and um, goodbye so Thomas and I um, hopped into the car and we drove away and um, I think we, we got we got on Autobahn and uh, Thomas had to stop at a rest area to get a drink and I, it was maybe 20 minutes after that meeting and we, I'm still I was still like shaking still in awe and you can see it in this video right here so uh, we're here in Germany with Thomas and just had an amazing experience uh, meeting with uh, Dieter Rams so uh, yeah details later but uh, still kind of like I don't know buzzed or excited but uh, it was weird I was very very fortunate to have met him and I have to say again thank you to, Ma to both Martin and to, to Thomas for helping making this happen um, and it was it was a great adventure okay what's the giveaway um, to one lucky person <clears throat> I'm gonna give away uh, one cartridge of Super 8 color film that's a uh, Kodak Vision 3 either 50D 200T or 500T. So I want to know what question would you ask to Dieter Rams? Yeah, if you had that same opportunity, what would you ask to him? Leave your questions in the comment section below and I will randomly select one person and that one person you're gonna get one free cartridge of this uh, Super 8 film.